Good morning, everybody. The Rev here. I hope this video finds you well this morning. Yes, yes. Still got the Christmas season going. Still, probably still have shopping to do, but it's okay. Christmas is coming. Kids will be happy. Your friends and family will be happy. I hope you enjoy the Christmas season. You know, I was, uh, I was reading in the Word this morning, and something that came up yesterday, and I, I just, I just uh, molded over in my mind over and over again. And I got up this morning, read it again, and it's just like, man, Lord, just we forget to do what we need to do sometimes, and that is to honor you, Lord, in everything we say and do. And this is out of Deuteronomy eight eighteen. It says. But you shall remember the Lord your God, for it is he who is giving you power to make wealth, that he may confirm his covenant, which he swore to your fathers, as it is this day. That's a good word. That's good truth. He's given you the power to make wealth. He's given you, he's given me, he's given others the power to make wealth. What got me was I, I read it a couple of times and then when I went back and read it again, I noticed the footnote below and this is what's the important thing. And it says, in times of plenty, we often take credit for our own, <laughs> for our prosperity and become proud that our own hard work and cleverness has made us rich. It's really a big thing that it's like in times of plenty that we honor the Lord that he's given us the power to make wealth. Because it is true. You do work hard at your stuff. I work hard at my stuff. But I'm only working hard at my job and at my business because the Lord gave me the strength to do it. And I need to remember, you need to remember where it all comes from. It all stems from the Lord. It doesn't stem from me. It all starts with the seed that the Lord put inside of you and put inside of me. It's not me. It's always the Lord. And we should honor the Lord in everything. And I just thought, man, he's giving you the power to make wealth. That is amazing that he's given us, me, you, the power to make wealth. And it's not to make wealth just to buy a whole bunch more stuff because do you really need more stuff? But it says, in times of plenty, we often take credit for our prosperity and become proud that our own hard work and cleverness has made us rich. He has given you the witty inventions and witty business ideas. Most of those did not come from yourself. <laughs> I'm speaking to myself. When we sit down and have coffee with Jesus, ask him, the clever things that he has for you to create wealth. You know, some crazy ideas that I've had, none of them have ever come from me. They probably haven't come from you either because if you really think about it, they're probably not the ideas that you would normally come up with on your own. And I just thought today of all days, as we enter it, as we're in the Advent season, that we really need to remember who has brought everything around to us. And it is the Lord. The Lord's brought everything to us. And we need to remember that our, because it's really good to remember who God is and, and crying out to Jesus in the middle of times of despair. We remember him then. <laughs> we come boldly before the throne then. I need your help. Yeah. But do we honor him with our praises of saying, man, look what the Lord did in my life today through the prosperity. It's something to remember. So as you go about the day to day, remember all the things that the Lord has brought around into your life just simply because he's good. Now, did your hard work have a whole lot to do with it? Absolutely. 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 Not taking anything away from you. But I can say, without a doubt, 
that the Lord has carried me through all the hard times and my prosperity that I have and that I know is only because of him. And I hope you would think the same. So give him praise where praise is due. For it is he who is giving you the power to make wealth. And let's not forget about him in our times of prosperity. Hope you guys have a good day. Hope you guys realize that the power that's in the word to help you through every situation. Jesus loves you. I love you. There's absolutely nothing you can do about it. Have a good day today. See you soon. Goodbye.